Abby thanks. I'm standing inside the newly renovated entrance gallery of the iconic Hesburgh Library. Now when we were here last year doing an interview in the exact same spot, they were in full blown construction mode. But as you can see, not the case anymore. The hard hats are up. Renovation is now complete. Joining me now to talk about the renovation project is Jessica Kayango, chair of the library's uh, renovation steering committee and also Pam James, the project manager for the university's facility design and operation division. Both of you, thank you so much for being with us on Notre Dame Day. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, great to have you. So Jessica, starting with you, I mean, this is an amazing transformation. Give us an idea of where we are in the library and some of the changes that have taken place. Well, for those familiar with the building, we're standing on the north side of the mm -hmm. first floor in what we now call the entrance gallery. Right. The entrance gallery runs north and south through the center of the first and second floors of this building. Uh, in terms of major features, we have a reading room up on the second floor that is nicely appointed, uh, that is already hugely popular with students and faculty. We have a large skylight up above that lets in much needed natural light, yeah. as you can see. Especially um, during the winter. Exactly, yeah, much needed during the winter. Um, and then we have uh, on the south end for the first time ever on the second floor, a view out toward the library courtyard, the reflecting pool, and the stadium beyond. Here on the first floor, we have a new north entrance mm -hmm. um, that connects us a bit better to the buildings going up to the north and east of us on campus. We have these large openings that you can see above us um, that make nice visual connections for people between the first and the second floors. Really, I think Pam would agree, um, this of all the projects planned is uh, one of the most dramatic. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. I love the nice wide open concept. And Pam, anybody who's been on campus, whether it's to tailgate or just to walk around, they'll know that there's a lot of construction going on. But what makes this project in particular so unique? First of all, the project is huge. The building footprint alone is over 400,000 square feet. The, um, just to give you a sense of scale, the, uh, build, the first floor alone is um, the size of a football field. So it's, it's huge. Mm -hmm. And um, since 2013, we've been planning a series of multiple renovation projects that over multiple years uh, will unfold as funding is available. And um, we have had to keep the library um, to remain open during construction, which makes planning and uh, the communication even more complex. Mm -hmm. And um, we've been working with the library to ensure that the campus community will be able to navigate smoothly throughout construction. Uh, and Jessica, before we talk about what's moving forward, give us some insights. What was Father Ted's vision for building the library in the first place? Well, over 50 years ago, Father Hesburgh had a bold vision to create an academic library, or a library that would stand for academic excellence and that would anchor his goal to have Notre Dame become a great research university. Uh, in his words, the library was to be the academic heart of the university. Uh, as part of this project, we've already found opportunities to highlight and uh, pay tribute to his legacy, and Pam can speak to a few of those opportunities. Mm -hmm. And anybody who visits the Hesburgh Library, they'll know that when they come and they look up and they look up at the atrium, they'll see a quote. What does that quote say? Well, I'll read it to you. Okay. Um, his quote says, I wanted in 1963 and still desire today for the library to stand for the future of Notre Dame as a place of unmatched intellectual achievement, free inquiry, and providential contributions to mankind. Let the library be a place on this campus where that hunger for truth will keep getting stronger, supporting freedom and justice around the world, inspiring excellence, and prodding us to bigger dreams. That is a powerful vision. And that certainly sounds like Father Ted. I'm, and when I think of those words, I think of him standing arm in arm with Martin Luther King, which we could see that picture inside the huddle. Now, Pam, what's, what are some things that we can expect moving forward? So the next series of renovation projects for the library will include the east and center sections of the concourse. Right. We're also going to include a new scholar's lounge located east um, of, into the uh, entrance of the library. Mm -hmm. And that um, will be across from the Cary Auditorium. And it will include it will be a meeting and gathering space for the campus community. We're also renovating the fourth floor um, for staff offices, and then we're looking forward to many more exciting projects to come. We're planning for the Center for Digital Scholarships, a new grand reading room, and and many more. Wonderful. And Jessica, for any of our viewers who are tuning in right now, is there anything else that you think they ought to know? Yes, I'd just like to say that we are very grateful to the campus community and to the alumni for their patience throughout this process and for their support. Uh, we have had tremendous positive feedback uh, so far. Um, we 
we know this is an amazing transformation already, uh, but we are just as excited to look ahead uh, at the projects to come. Um, for those who are interested in following our progress, mm -hmm. please do stop in anytime you're on campus and see us, or people can follow us online at renovation.library.nd.edu.